All right, so day 29, I watched Maniac Cop 3, Badge of Silence. Um, I had seen the other two Maniac Cop movies, I think. Um, I watched the second one like a couple months ago, maybe like five or six months ago. And then the first one I watched maybe a year or two ago. Um, and I actually really dug the second one. The first one I liked too, but I felt like the second one really elaborated on what the first one did in terms of being a silly movie about this killer cop who comes back from the dead and starts annihilating people. Like, I felt like the second one did a better job of that than the first one, even though the first one I think is solid, but I feel like it's a little less interesting and a little less entertaining. Uh, I think two is definitely the best one out of the bunch, but, uh, but yeah, I saw the first two. I liked both of them, and I saw this was on Shudder, so for 31 days, I'm like, I'm going to watch this one. Never seen this one before. Like I said, 31 days, 31 movies I've never seen before. Um, and this one starts out, Matt Cordell is back from the dead. He is resurrected by a voodoo doctor. Um, and then he starts doing his normal shit again, where he goes and starts killing people. Um, and... Um, you've got Robert Zavi back, um, from the second movie who goes and goes in a fight against him. And basically that's the plot. It's really simple. Like the first two, um, the thing I liked about this one though, I really didn't like this one that much, but I did like the fact that this one looked very theatrical. Like I was actually genuinely kind of surprised because I didn't see any part of this movie before I watched the movie itself. I never saw a trailer or anything. I just saw the poster and I was like, this is probably going to be way, way lower budget than the first two. And the first two, I can't even remember if those went to theaters. They, I really honestly can't remember if they went to theaters at all. Um, but this one, I thought, especially on Shudder, the HD transfer of this looks really, really good. So I'll give it that. The movie looks good. Um, that's one of the biggest pauses I can give it. Um, and also it's directed by Alan Smithy. Alan Smithy is a name that is used, I think, for a lot of directors who are ashamed of their work and don't want to have their name put on a movie. Um, and this is directed by William Lustig, Bill Lustig, who directed Maniac Cop, I think, one and two. Um, and he directed Maniac. Um, really, really liked that director, but I think he was ashamed of this one, I guess. This one is weird because it just, it feels like the first two, but like, it's, I don't know, like, I didn't love it like the first two. I honestly didn't love the first two, but I mean, I like the first two. I think the first two are good and entertaining, but this one, in terms of out of the three, this is definitely the weakest one. I thought there were some moments of fun in it. I thought that there's a scene where Cordell, um, literally throws a guy up in the air so he's flying up in the air and he shoots him like five times whenever he's flying up in the air i thought that was funny um i thought it was funny whenever he zaps a guy with defibrillators and kills him like i thought that was funny um i thought that the ending while really really silly was at least different or well, i don't know about different it's still a car chase like the first one i can't remember the second one's climax but the first one had the had the chase at the end um this one has another chase at the end where she is being like they're both being chased um by matt cordell and he's uh, burning alive in his car and it's that kind of chase again and it was really really silly um but it wasn't it wasn't terrible like i said the movie i didn't hate but i just thought it was really it was pretty unforget. It was pretty forgettable in a lot of ways. Like, especially being the third movie, the third movie in a trilogy or in a series usually is like gets that detriment of like, oh, it's a third movie, it's bad or it's not that good. And this one definitely suffered from not being that great. It just wasn't very interesting as a movie. Like, it wasn't as entertaining as the other two. Honestly, just more the second one. The first one was good, but like I said, the second one's way more entertaining than the first one. But the first two are definitely better than this. Um, this one isn't bad. It's, like, to me, like, in terms of, like, a silly horror movie, like, I didn't think it was that bad. But I didn't think it was great either. Um, definitely wasn't as great as the first two. Um, and I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wrote on my notes. Um, you get a Ted Raimi cameo, um, which was interesting. You 
you also get I I needed to look up the trivia the trivia before I did this review, but I totally forgot. But I thought I saw something online saying that this movie was like way shorter in comparison and like they had to add a lot of new stuff to it. So I wonder if that's the problem that William Lustig had. Because maybe, like I don't really know the behind the scenes that well, but I feel like they probably just added a lot of stuff in that maybe he didn't want. Um, or maybe he didn't direct. Because again, this is probably just one of those studio movies where like a lot of people directed it. There are a lot of cooks in the kitchen, I think is what probably the deal is. Um, but... I didn't hate it. I just thought it was pretty whatever. It wasn't anything super special. Um, so that's pretty much all I can say about Maniac Cop 3, Badge of, uh, Badge of Silence. This one, like I said, is kind of forgettable. It's not really, it's not one that I'm going to remember. I'll definitely remember the second Maniac Cop out of all three, if I remember one. Um, it's weird because the Maniac Cop series, like these three movies, like, the first one is a little more boring than the second one, but the first one has um, Bruce Campbell in it, and it's really awesome with that, with the casting of that. Um, and I like the fact that you really just look at the first movie, and it's just, it's kind of by the basics, like um, like TV movie-looking movie, um, but it just, it, it, it has some good casting in it but i just feel like it's not as interesting as the second one um really really i like the first i like the second one a lot and the first one's just fine um nothing nothing super special but like i said i feel like this franchise is very interesting um overall but it's, that's pretty much all i could say about it like i said this is definitely the weakest one out of the three um yeah so that's it for today, day 29. I've got two more to go and I'm way behind. Uh, I've had a lot of work. I've had a lot of work. So I haven't been able to do these reviews. So uh, I'll have them up, but they'll all be on one day on uh, Halloween day. So uh, that's it for today and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.